Sometimes with psoriasis, you want to lay down and let life run you over. But I can't. I'm a mom. I have a family that relies on me. I'm Cindy Lauper, and I have psoriasis. It's hard for me to even fathom what I looked like or what I was going through. I had something on my scalp that I thought was from my kid's hockey helmet. I went back to the dermatologist who specialized in hair. And he said it was psoriasis. I couldn't live the way I was living. I was very sick from psoriasis. I was covered from head to toe. I wouldn't wear something like this. Oh my God, never. I had a long wig. I had like a turtleneck mesh thing so you couldn't see. You know, I was making jokes about it. I felt really isolated. I was a mess. I just started to think about my life always alone. But you still had to do your work. You still had to get your job done no matter what. One day I just, I couldn't take it anymore. About 2015 and I called up the doctor. I was crying. And he said, listen, it's not, it's not 1980. It's got a lot of different choices. Why don't you come and find out what your choices are? Get your butt to the doctor right away and go to a doctor that specializes in psoriasis. A dermatologist who can read what skin disease it is because then you really set on a path and I didn't have hope. I learned so much from sitting with other patients. When you're together with other people, they inspire you, they help you. And the one thing that they kept saying was I never gave up. I took it literally and seriously, and I wanted to do something good for them, you know, and try harder to show up and really do something good. And so that's why I wrote Hope. I wrote it for them. I wrote it for Gary. I wrote it for Darren. I wrote it for the young woman who was the dancer and nobody would lift her. And now she's going to Stanford for medicine. Music can change the energy of a room. It could change the energy of your thinking. Whatever anguish you feel, you can transform it to something else. Psoriasis is very tricky. It's not just a rash. And you can't just let it go. So I think it's really important to go to a doctor. Really, really important. Don't handle it on your own. You can go online, cosentix.com, and find out all about it and read about it so that you're a knowledgeable patient. And then you can go to your doctor and say, hey, I was reading about this. Am I a good candidate? Cosentix works for me. But talk to your doctor and find out what's going to work for you. Indications. Cosentix secukinumab is a prescription medicine used to treat people six years of age and older with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, PSO, that involves large areas or many areas of the body and who may benefit from taking injections or pills, systemic therapy, or phototherapy, treatment using ultraviolet or UV light alone or with systemic therapy. People two years of age and older with active psoriatic arthritis, PSA. Adults with active ankylosing spondylitis, AS. Adults with active non-radiographic axial spondyloarthritis, NRXPA, and objective signs of inflammation. People four years of age and older with active enthesitis-related arthritis, ERA. Adults with moderate to severe hydrogenitis superativa, HS. Important safety information. Do not use Cosentix if you have had a severe allergic reaction to secukinumab or any of the other ingredients in Cosentix. See the medication guide for a complete list of ingredients. 
What is the most important information I should know about Cosentix? Cosentix is a medicine that affects your immune system. Cosentix may increase your risk of having serious side effects, such as infections. Cosentix may lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections and may increase your risk of infections. Some people have died from these infections. Your doctor should check you for tuberculosis, TB, before starting treatment with Cosentix. If your doctor feels that you are at risk for TB, you may be treated with medicine for TB before you begin treatment with Cosentix and during treatment with Cosentix. Your doctor should watch you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during treatment with Cosentix. Do not use Cosentix if you have an active TB infection. Before starting Cosentix, tell your doctor if you are being treated for an infection, have an infection that does not go away or that keeps coming back, have TB or have been in close contact with someone with TB, think you have an infection or have symptoms of an infection such as fevers, sweats or chills, muscle aches, cough, shortness of breath, blood in your phlegm, weight loss, warm, red, or painful skin or sores on your body, diarrhea or stomach pain, burning when you urinate, or urinate more often than normal. After starting Cosentix, call your doctor right away if you have any signs of infection listed above. Do not use Cosentix if you have any signs of infection, unless you are instructed to by your doctor. What are the possible side effects of Cosentix? Cosentix may cause serious side effects, including Serious allergic reactions Serious allergic reactions can occur. Get emergency medical help right away if you get any of the following symptoms. Feeling faint, swelling of your face, eyelids, lips, mouth, tongue, or throat. Trouble breathing or throat tightness. Chest tightness. Skin rash or hives. Red itchy bumps. If you have a severe allergic reaction, do not give another injection of Cosentix. Inflammatory bowel disease. New cases of inflammatory bowel disease or flare-ups can happen with Cosentix and can sometimes be serious. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, or Crohn's disease, tell your doctor if you have worsening disease symptoms during treatment with Cosentix or develop new symptoms of stomach pain or diarrhea. Severe skin reactions that look like eczema can happen during treatment with Cosentix from days to months after your first dose and can sometimes lead to hospitalization. Your doctor may temporarily stop treatment with Cosentix if you develop severe skin reactions. Tell your doctor if you have any of the following signs or symptoms. Redness or rash, itching, small bumps or patches, your skin is dry or feels like leather, blisters on the hands or feet that ooze or become crusty, or skin peeling. The most common side effects of Cosentix include cold symptoms, diarrhea, and upper respiratory tract infections. These are not all of the possible side effects of Cosentix. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. Before using Cosentix, tell your doctor if you have any of the conditions or symptoms listed above for infections. Have inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis. Are allergic to latex. The needle cap on the Cosentix Sensoretti pen and 150 mg per milliliter and 75 mg per 0.5 milliliter pre-filled syringes contains latex. Have recently received or are scheduled to receive an immunization, vaccine. People who take Cosentix should not receive live vaccines. Children should be brought up to date with all vaccines before starting Cosentix. Have any other medical conditions and all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Keep a list of your medicines to show your healthcare provider and pharmacist when you get a new medicine. Are pregnant or plan to become pregnant? It is not known if Cosentix can harm your unborn baby. You and your doctor should decide if you will use Cosentix. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? It is not known if Cosentix passes into your breast milk. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information, including medication guide.